What's up guys, the Apple device here, and today I'll be showing you how to downgrade 6.0 to um, any software that you have SHSH saved. So, if you were ever jailbroken, then you did save the SHSH, because Cydia automatically saves the SHSH, the software file that you jailbroke for, and usually for the uh, ones that keep on going in the updates. So right now, I'm on a 6.0. And to check what software files you have the SHSH for, this is unique for every device, and every device has its own SHSH files. You have to save it when um, the file was being signed by Apple. And Cydia does that automatically for you, and Tiny Umbrella is another program that you can use to do that. So, uh, Tiny Umbrella, I'll have a link down below for Tiny Umbrella. You'll need Tiny Umbrella, and then you'll need the software file that you want to downgrade to. So, um, here's Tiny Umbrella. I'll go ahead, okay. Click OK to everything. Find your iPod here on the left. And then you want to hit Save SHSH. It will start look, it'll save the SHSH. And you want to, afterwards, after it runs through, you want to then click on Log or Advanced. And make sure uh, Request SHSH from Cydia. Make sure that's checked. After, then click it again, and after that, that runs through, you can then see the software files that you can restore to. So for me, I can restore to 5.1 and 5.1.1. So uh, I'll go ahead and restore to the 5.1.1. I've already previously downloaded the 5.1.1 for the iPod Touch 4G software file. And then what you want to do is navigate to, um, I'll just probably move the camera closer. What you want to do is navigate to Windows, System32, Drivers, ECT. After you're there, you want to open up this host file. And how you open it up is, um, how you open it up is you just, just open up Notepad, and you just drag and drop it into Notepad, in which it'll open it up. I've already previously opened it up, and then what you want to do is, um, Type this uh, code in right there on the very bottom. Delete all the ones that have uh, GS, the Apple, and type in this one. I'll have it in the link's description so you can just copy paste it. 74.208.105 and so on. You want to go ahead and paste that in. Make sure iTunes is closed when you're typing it in and pay or pasting it in. I'll go, go ahead and save. And then from here, all you do is just open up iTunes. And you can restore to the software file that you have the SHSH saved, or pretty much what Tiny Umbrella showed you that, that you have saved. That's the same thing. So uh, once iTunes will open up, I'll show you guys what you want to do. So I'll have while iTunes is opening up, you want to go ahead and put your device into DFU mode. So to do so, you want to power it off. And then you want to click the... Power button for 3 seconds and the home and power button for 10. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for 15 seconds. And then you'll have a black screen and iTunes shall detect it. So I'll go ahead and power um, power button for 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. Power and home for 10, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll let go of the power button and keep holding the home button as you can see computer has detected it but I do have a black screen iTunes popped up and I still do have a black screen okay from here you wanna go ahead and click shift shift restore and you want to find the software file that Tiny Umbrella showed you or that you have SHSH saved for. You want to go ahead and open it. And uh, restore to. And from here on out, it's simple. It's going to restore. The, this process is going to be um, take about 10-15 minutes. Once it's done, I'll go ahead and show you guys that I successfully restored. So it just finished restoring. Go ahead and go through the activation.
Then we'll go into settings, general, about, and right here, 5.1.1. So successfully restored to 5.1.1 downgrade. So okay, guys, if you guys like this video, go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe. That really helps me, guys. Um, if you if there's any other questions you have, comment down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.